So yesterday I brought you guys a video discussing the two brand new haunted houses that were recently announced for this year's Halloween Horror Nights event. And this morning ladies and gentlemen, we got yet another surprise announcement. 24 hours after our last announcement for Goblin's Feast, we got official confirmation that the Sweet Revenge Scare Zone is getting the haunted house treatment. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to share with you all Major Sweets Candy Factory is coming to Halloween Horror Nights 2024. Earlier today, Today at exactly 10.33 a.m. we got this tweet from Halloween Horror Nights that reads, You've been invited to chaperone a field trip to a candy factory. The deadly delicious treats turn the kids into sugar fuel fiends. This has officially become my most anticipated haunted house of the year so far. Typically, when we see scare zones get turned into haunted houses, those particular haunted houses end up being my favorite of the year. So obviously, this one is no different. I thoroughly enjoyed the Sweet Revenge scare zone that we got during Halloween Horror Nights 31, and I'm really excited to see what they do with this haunted house. Let's head on over to the Halloween Horror Nights wiki page and get some more backstory. The Sweet Revenge scare zone takes place in 19. 54 in a town named Hollow Hills during an annual Halloween party parade. The party is sponsored by a candy company owned by Major Sweets. The candy turned the kids into horrific killers. They would drool chocolate as they attack the adults. The parade has crashed all over the streets and guests would have to wind their way through the floats. Scattered through the streets of New York, there were three parade floats, one themed to a graveyard, one themed to a witch, and the last one being themed to candy. A judge's booth was also built in the corner next to a candy stand filled with candy that wrapped around heads on lollipop sticks. Major Sweets' van could also be seen, the trunk open and full of weapons. Further into the scare zone, a dead couple could be seen in front of a picture of a cornfield. Colorful flashing lights were strung up above and various Halloween props were scattered about, such as pumpkin decorations and hay bales. Projections of the silhouettes of various townsfolk could be seen in the windows, most being stabbed by maniacal kids. Other projections showed kids eating the candy and turning evil. Every once in a while, a victim scare actor would go up to the judge's booth and warn guests not to eat the candy. A trick-or-treater would come up behind them and stab them as he or she screamed. Again guys, this was a fantastic scare zone that we got a couple of years ago, and I'm excited to see this demented Willy Wonka's chocolate factory come to life. We can expect to see Major Sweets himself in this haunted house, we can expect to see some of his evil minions as they work inside the factory, we can expect to see some demented kids, and maybe we can expect a few show scenes where we're actually walking through the town where the kids have actually eaten the candy and have become killers. Either way guys, this haunted house has a lot of potential, and I'm super excited to experience experience it for myself during this year's event. But that's going to about do it for this quick Halloween Horror Nights update video. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and drop a comment down below. Share your thoughts and opinions on this announcement. Are you excited for Sweet Revenge to get the Haunted House treatment? Are you a little disappointed? I want to get a discussion going down below. As always guys, make sure you are subscribed to the channel because as soon as we get any new updates for Halloween Horror Nights 2024, we will be making a video to inform you guys as quickly as possible. I hope you're all having a wonderful day morning, afternoon, and evening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.